obviously it's you that's tracking it. It's not like the government's following you all around, but, but still it seems a little bit weird at first, but it could be a quite useful information both on the personal side and on the business side, just for your own you know, decision-making purposes. And obviously once you have the business information, then you could use that to help uh, with your taxes. Now note that you do not have to have this mobile app turned on uh, in order to use this system. You might simply do manual input into your system for those business types of trips that you're gonna be doing so that you can track the business trips and you have a log of the business trips that you have done so that you can get to the total miles that you need for the, for the calculation of the taxes and that you also have some evidence of the trips that you have, have taken that at least you've logged them down, right? So if you wanna go into the mobile app then on your phone, then I, you can use this picture to hopefully that'll pop it up or it's the QuickBooks mobile app here. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. And here's the overall mileage page that we have. So we've got the mileage up top. I'm gonna to close up the hamburger. And then if I hit the drop down here, we've got our years that we're tracking the mileage for, and then it kind of gives you a summary up top. We'll do some data input into it in future presentations, but we have the potential deduction for 2023. Now, where is it coming up with that deduction? You would think it's just using the tax code mileage rate. So it's taking this mileage rate. Now, the first thing you might be thinking is, well, how, how is that gonna affect my financial statements, right? Because when I do my taxes, I'm pulling the information in from my financial statements. And that's one of the issues we'll try to dive into it a little bit more in future presentations, because uh, you need to know a little bit about, about how the taxes are calculated to better understand that. In other words, when you have an expense for auto expenses, then that might be your actual expenses. But instead of using the actual expenses, you might use your miles to deduct the expenses. Now, you, you're going to deduct most likely the actual expenses when you buy gas and whatnot for the car. So, so then there's going to need to be some kind of adjustment that needs to be happening for taxes if we're not taking the actual expenses, but rather taking the mileage method. So note that this isn't actually posting anything to your financial statements. It's just tracking that information so that you can come up with the total mileage. Now you could come up with a system and we'll talk about how you might integrate that into your QuickBooks system to kind of think about what the tax uh, deductions would be. We'll kind of play around with that, uh, but this isn't actually posting anything. It'll just give you the, the information. So then we've got the, the total business miles, uh, the total miles here, the vehicles, and then uh, the per mile you're driving towards a sizable amount. And then down here, we've got unreviewed. So once you start adding trips, whether that be through your actual mobile app when you're driving around, or if, if you're just adding manually, they, they could go into the unreviewed area and you could sort them by vehicle on the dropdown. And then these are gonna be your business trips. So this will be the one that are allocated to the business side. So in other words, once they're here, we will allocate them either business or personal, and then you can track your business and personal, and then here's all of them, business and personal. And then up top, you've got your drop down where we can add a trip, we can manage the vehicles, we can uh, import trips, we can download uh, trips, uh, we can manage favorite locations, and you've got the man manage mileage rules. So the vehicles, of course, will be the vehicles that, that you're driving. You can have multiple vehicles here. We'll add vehicles later, but I've got two vehicles in here. We wanna set one as the primary typically. And then we've got the uh, download trips, which will in essence give you a CSV file, which usually opens for most people in like an Excel file that gives you some of the trip data, which can help you to put together your own little report on uh, the total miles uh, if, if you need if you need that for whatever reason to give to your tax preparer to help them out or in the case of an audit or something like that that give you some of your data and then you've got your favorite locations which is kind of neat because if you're especially if you're doing manual uh in well you can use the favorite locations to 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 set a standard location right and then and then you can you could possibly set rules to be allocating if it's a uh, business or personal oftentimes is the main thing with the rules 
which might be more useful if you're integrating that with like the mobile app so that it basically automatically kind of picks up uh, if you're going from one place to another that that's going to be a business versus personal so you have a little bit less toggling as that data pulls into here now remember that you could if you're using the mobile app then then theoretically the, if you have locations turned on then the thing's going to track all of your miles right so which is which again it's kind of cool but it, it's, it makes me kind of feel like like someone's following me all the time but obviously you're following yourself so that's okay <laughs> so that's not the government that's tracking you everywhere you go but uh but the information as an accountant uh is intriguing because then you can pull in uh, all the information and you've got a nice audit trail of everything of everywhere you know you have gone so that you can and then you can sort that out and, and basically think about how much you're spending and how much maybe even how much time you're spending in particular locations which is kind of interesting but then uh it can pull into here and then you've got and then you can allocate whether they're going to be business but if you don't have the mobile app on or if you don't you know turn your location tracking on all the time if you're paranoid and you're like i'm not turning that location track you know i turned the phone off completely i'm not doing it then <laughs> you can add the trips manually up top so we've got the trips here that you can you can add uh manually so in future presentations we'll start to add uh, a couple trips and we'll talk more about uh what it what it means to be deducting or how you deduct auto expenses for taxes just to get an idea of, of how you might use this tool.